John, Ooh. happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. It's just, it's a, it's a lovely feeling, lovely feeling. Yes. You know, you've gotten through another week. Yes. Take a moment to reflect. That's right. You know, settle right. down. Mm -hmm. Got a fantastic show uh, from Billions. Corey Stoll is here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Bradley Cooper is taking the Colbert questionnaire tonight. Ah, it is, to uh, be known. Yeah, it's what? He will be known after that. He will be fully known after that. That's right. I bet he's going to be good at it. He's really good at a lot of things. Oh, yeah. And those yeah. blue eyes, Ooh. I feel like I need to get on scuba gear before I look in his eyes. You dive right in there. It's like, huh? dive, it's like cave diving. It's almost dangerous to go in there. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid I might lose directions and get caught in there. <laughs> anyway, wish me luck. Yeah. Folks, I spent a lot of time right over there, night after night, combing through the day's news, carefully selecting the most topical fragrant herbs and joke rich allium, delicately stirring them into a satirical stock, bringing the concoction to a breaking news boil before painstakingly editing away the scraps, leaving only the purest, nutrient rich consomme of comedy that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes I swept myself awake inside a deflated bouncy castle at a defunct amusement park. <laughs> Break into a combination gas station pizza hut where I throw together whatever old hot dogs and repurposed cheese product and get my chapped and cracked hands on. And there, by the cruel light of a pizza warming drawer, I drown the mixture in a can of discontinued surge from 2002 before straining it through the grease soiled beard net to create the festering mop bucket sour mash of news that is my segment. Meanwhile, you're getting on that Right there. The life raft. It's the life raft for America. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly drank each other's blood and are now engaged. Is that how the kids are doing it now? <laughs> Back in my day, when you wanted to propose, you took a lady out to dinner, pulled the waiter aside, and tipped him to slip the blood into the tiramisu. <laughs> Fox explained their love, calling Kelly her twin flame, meaning a soul that has ascended into a high enough level that it can be split into two different bodies at the same time. So they are one soul in two different bodies. And after that engagement, one case of hep C. <laughs> Meanwhile, the post office just delivered a letter from an American soldier in Germany. It was 76 years late. Wow. That poor family has waited 76 years to find out how the war was going. <laughs> the Nazis are the bad guys? Not everyone today remembers that. <laughs> Meanwhile, unfortunately, Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet have split up. Aww. Yeah, evidently they did not drink enough of each other's blood. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Portland Pickles Baseball Club canceled a Twitter takeover with their mascot after a picture he tweeted was misinterpreted as him showing fans another part of his pickled anatomy. <laughs> Are they saying he sent a dill pic? How... <laughs> I don't buy it. How dare anyone imply that there's anything phallic? <laughs> How could anyone imply there's anything phallic about this giant pickle-headed pickle? <laughs> but fine, if people are insisting on seeing something dirty everywhere, let's take a look. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, let's toss that pickle back in the barrel. That, that gherkin is not kosher. <laughs> so that photo went up yesterday at 4.45 p.m. At 4.49 p.m., the baseball team announced, we have ended our mascot takeover. <laughs> it's come to our attention that this photo can be misinterpreted as a disturbing image. Dylan would like to go on record and say that he was trying to give his fans a thumbs up. Okay. Really? That's a thumbs up. The camera is pointed at his crotch, and the rest of his hand is cropped out. When you're doing a gesture, the placement of the hand is really important. There's a reason Nixon didn't give the peace sign like this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wet my whistle on that one. Uh, uh -huh. Whistle while you were... Meanwhile... TSA just released its list of unusual confiscated items of 2021. I assume the top item on the list is my dignity. Because <laughs> nothing crushes the spirit like getting your junk knuckle dusted in front of 700 people. <laughs> Among the items on the TSA's confiscated list, bear spray, a machete, fireworks, and a chainsaw. <laughs> Who is still so unclear on the airplane rules that they think they're getting a chainsaw through security? 
What? It'll be fine. I'll just slip it into that little bowl. But my favorite item on the TSA's list of confiscated items, a meth burrito. <laughs> Still better for you than Taco Bell. <laughs> Meanwhile, Crocs estimates its revenue surged 67% last year because consumers stuck at home over the past 18 months ditched dress shoes for more comfortable footwear, which explains their new slogan, Crocs, shh, just give up. <laughs> when we come back, Bradley Cooper takes the Colbert questionnaire right there.